Okay, here we are. Let's just wait a minute for the uh, share button, which has just popped up. I'm going to share this out and then we'll get started. All right, welcome, welcome. I see we got one person on. Who is the uh, lucky sucker? Hey, Tony. Welcome. You've watched before, if I recall. Okay. So we'll just wait here, uh, we'll give it a couple of minutes and then we'll get started. I've got a couple of little things to catch up on with you guys on the game turn, perhaps before we uh, start diving into the game play, per se. And uh, we'll go at it from there and we'll see what happens. I'm going to need to uh, swap this around. Hey, welcome folks. Welcome to the uh, stream. If you're wonder wondering why it cuts out, <clears throat> excuse me. <coughs> if you're wondering why it cuts out, uh, <coughs> or pauses. I'm gonna choke on a peanut right now. Live on, live on the web. <clears throat> if you're wondering why it cuts out, it's because I pause the video, share the stream uh, onto uh, the blog or Twitter or whatever the case may be. So, oh my God, I think I might uh, expire. Oh, here we go. Okay, let's. Who we got here? All right, Rob, Rick Dug, Rick Dig, <clears throat> and I think Tony is back. Welcome, welcome. I don't know if you guys can see each other online or not. I'll see who's actually uh, uh, watching, but that's cool if you can. I don't know what the deal is. I really don't know what you're seeing. So uh, I should turn my laptop on and join the... Uh... Dude, Devin, how you doing? Uh, I should turn my laptop on. Is that a booger? No, it's not. Okay. All right. Uh, let's... Now, last I left off with you folks, you fine folks, we had an interesting situation evolving. <laughs> and that situation... Uh, uh, interesting situation evolving. The British, we started off over here and the Americans, it was really kind of a consolidation turn. Not a whole lot happened. I think we did one little attack over there. Nothing, uh, nothing terribly dynamic or exciting, but over here, man, the last five or ten minutes of that uh, that uh, uh, last broadcast was pretty epic. Uh, even uh, if I was playing solo, there would have been. Um, well, I am playing solo, really, aren't I? <laughs> That's kind of sad. Uh, if I had been playing without streaming. Uh, there would have been a lot more cursing, that's all I can say. Uh, those freaking um, dice were horrible. We rolled a two for one of the attacks uh, in here, lost uh, two battalions of Royal, uh, Royal Tank Regiment chappies, and, uh, you know, I doubled down and then brought two more battalions up. They were successful, but I lost another battalion. And we actually forced this guy to retreat. And that's probably where we need to pick up uh, the game play. This fella had to retreat. Well, when you retreat a HQ in combat mode, he has to flip to move mode. Now, the net effect of that is only important if I had additional units in reserve uh, that I could uh, continue my attacks and then I could have attacked this guy again and he would have a defense value of one not five so that's the only reason why we would care about that so at first I was thinking well it doesn't really matter because you, the Germans can just flip him back over to combat mode when he starts the next turn but if he has uh, if he has uh, the um, what am I trying to say here if there are more reserve units for the attacker then they could knock that guy out on a five to one attack versus you know whatever it might be or a three to one attack whatever okay so <clears throat> It's now the German's turn, and I have done... I'm going to have to move the camera and angle it up a little bit because it's, uh, it's tilting precariously. 
Hopefully it'll sit still. Let's back this out. I gotta roll some dice for supply replacements, etc., for the hapless Germans who are now in an absolute quandary over here. So two dice is gonna help. Except if you roll a four, they get no replacements for the turn. The 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 misery continues for Hermann, Go Hermann Goering's division. I gotta lift my seat up so I can see what the hell I'm doing. And here we go. And I caught it. Ha, sucker. I'm gonna have to work out. I don't know why the camera is not uh, sitting straight, dude. Oh yeah, it absolutely does, Rick Dick. You know, yeah, it, the the the, uh, the die rolls were awesome, though. It was a lot of fun. Uh, a lot of fun. You got you got to love the uh, CRT in this game. It is it is epic for just that reason. So, Germans turn. No replacements. We got supply we can bring in. We can bring six SP a turn in through the ferries and all that sort of bullshit. All of that doesn't matter at the moment. Right now, what matters is this little corner of the map right here. I'm going to zoom in here for you guys. It all comes down to what are the Germans going to do? And I have not had a chance to look at this or think about it. I said I was going to do that. I said I was probably going to play out the German turn and play the next turn by myself and see where we got to to see if it was even worthwhile continuing. And... Uh, I have not done that. I've kind of come straight back into it. I had such a cruddy uh, not sleep last night that I told my wife I was not doing anything today for anybody. And I'm going to come down here and stare at map boards for a while. So uh, <clears throat> you've got you to use these opportunities to play games. Um, so here we go. I have a headquarters with two SP. I have a coastal artillery unit. A donkey. Two donkeys. Italian units, and I've got some good stuff over here, and you can't see anything because it's out of focus. All right. I do have some air. Um, you know, it was questionable last turn. Oh, actually, no, I did. I did try and do that. Uh, I did try and do that air raid to knock those guys out of uh, the attack here, and that was a disaster. Um, all right. Well, I guess what I got to try and do is see if I can get some units back around the other back around the other side of the mountain and and, and rebuild the defense. If I can do that this turn, we're going to keep going. If we can't, I think we're going to call this game done. Bruce, welcome, welcome. All right, we're trying to repair the damage as the German player <coughs> that was inflicted upon them last turn. So let's spend some SP. I'm going to spend one full SP for KG K and R here. Um, Whatever he, I've, I've already told you a couple of times what that stands for, and I can't remember now. One, two, two and a half, three, four, five, six. Okay, so he can't fuel everybody. That's a great place to be then. Um, so I'll have to do this individually. I'm going to pull. Uh, I'm going to start with these guys, these two units here. So two T from there. I tell you what I'm going to do. I'm just going to keep track of this uh, uh, on the board here. And, we'll, and then we'll just scratch them off. All right. So there's two T. Uh, I'm just going to put a little uh, a little mark over here. All right. Uh, because I, I'm not going to hunt and peck uh, for supply at the moment. I want to focus on moving stuff. We can get nearly everything we need from here. <clears throat> so we're going to flip this guy to move mode, and we're going to go one, two, three, four, five, six. Six, seven to there. Eight, nine, ten. Ten, eleven. Eleven to there. Twelve. Probably go eleven to there and pop into here. Just because we have... Uh, I've got to move other units that aren't going to be able to get as far, so... I'm going to move these donkeys out of the way. These donkeys are actually going to come up and... Oh, no, they can't. Well, I guess they could. One, one and a half. Two, three and a half. Four and a half. No, 
they're known. It's not worth, worth trying to do that. Let's just punt, punt these donkeys down to this stack here, out of the way. <coughs> I'm going to pull one T from here. That, and there's a, a fractional unit here, I believe. There we go. For the HQ. Let's pull the HQ back out of trouble, and he will come back to here as well. Twist him to show that he's moved. Now, uh, Tony, I clip my counters as I need them, typically. Uh, of course, when you set up a campaign this size, you do a significant portion of them. Uh, I use the same set of information counters. I, I, they're all from the, the Blitzkrieg Legend uh, module, I believe. And I just use those for every game, and I don't punch or clip uh, the information counters for, for most of the games for the OCS system. I do the same thing for TCS as well. Okay, uh, so that was one there, and I said I was using this guy as well. So he was one hex back, so he can get to here quite easily, and he will go in the village. Hmm. We don't really need these anymore. Let's get these off the way. They just clutter off to one side. Those guys were fueled. And, wow, what a mess. All right, I guess I might as well try and get this artillery out. That'll be a third T that we're going to pull. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. 11 and a half to there. So he's, these guys have all moved. We'll leave them that way. Got to pull the panzers out. That's going to be another T, 2 T, 3. That's 3 more T there, plus the additional guy. Let's just make them uh, 3, so that's 4 more. Flip these guys over to move mode. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. Okay, thirteen to here. Now let's see. Thirteen, fourteen. I can get on the railroad there. Fourteen. 14 and change, I can move this guy. I'm gonna leave these guys back here. And next turn we'll try and pop them into reserve. <clears throat> I need some screening units to slow down the advance. Two, four, wow, okay. Ah, shit, he's a truck. One on the road, actually, there's a road here, a trail here. One, two, three, four, five. That's how I'll do that, he gets to there. Hmm. Okay, we need to get the truck out of here. The truck's going to have to go around, and I'm going to pop him back up here. This will be another T I need to pay for. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15 to here. Here we'll go to here. Well, these guys are screwed. 1, 2, 3, there. I, I don't want to just you know walk away from this entirely here. Uh, we're kind of a bit of a tough position here. And this way can go one, two, three to here. He's going to get cut off, isn't he? Is any supply here? Nope. And he can't pull. Well, now earlier on I probably could have pulled supply for these guys with all those guys in uh, in position, but I'm not going to worry about it. I'm just going to do this. I'm going to go one, two, three to here. I'm going to pull this guy back this way as well. Uh, maybe not one, two, three. Oh, here we go. He can get supply this way. One, two, three, four. So I can get truck movement. I can actually get to this hex here. This guy can get to that hex there. This headquarter is going to need to pull supply from there. That's going to be two more T. And here we'll go one, two, three. And that's negated. There's aren't the... Uh, the uh, armor and infantry zone and controls for the trucks, and he can pop back to here. Since we're desperate, we're going to leave that HQ there, knowing we will probably be attacked and lose it. This dude is four, one, two, three, four. He will go to here. Yeah, this game's over, man. I can't even get to there. One, two, three. Wow. Okay, so I've got to pull uh, 
T's over here. Interesting. Wow. Uh, I said I had four, five, six, so this is going to be two T left here. Well, there's actually supply here, I think. Let's use this guy. Yeah. 2T left here, and we'll fill this dude, that'll be another T. And he will pop back under this village here, and that will pretty much wipe that out except for one. And they, those guys can use that for defense if they need to. I think I'll keep that guy there for the moment. We'll pull this dude back to here. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six to here, five to here. That'll slow that trail down. HQ's got to move, we've got to pay for him. We'll pop this down a little bit, and the donkey may as well move his ass. Ha, huh, get it? Donkey, move his ass. You didn't know you got a free comedy show with this, did you? That guy can go there, that reserve mark can go, can go off, this can get off the map. All this crap down here is just, all that stuff down there is toast. Um, let me see, comments, what we got going on, dogs? Well, I tell you what, the Italians were surrender monkeys over on the left-hand side of the board, so uh, they've earned their sacrifice. <laughs> the Germans are pissed. Uh, I don't know if you want to see it, I'll show you in a minute. Well, let's have a look at this now. Uh, so if we were... Uh, come on, camera, just sit still. Let me grab my tweezers and point out a few things. Now, I could bring some air units in here and try and hit this stack here of 18, and that will buy me, and let's say I managed to DG that. Oh, I've got units right here too, don't I, that are DG'd. Okay, they can move half. Let's see what we got here. Oh, my sweet noble workers. No, so they've got two movement points. They can get to here, this guy. There's two movement points, and he can get, we'll move him back one. Hmm, dang. These are all coming off the end of the turn, but still. So I could get, uh, I could buy myself a turn, DG that stack, with, a, with an airstrike. I'm going to have to fight uh, the Spitfires coming in, because it's going to be one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Yep, it's going to be in patrol zone. So that's a bad thing. Uh, this turn, I can see all sorts of pain occurring here. This looks pretty grim, doesn't it, guys? I mean, I, I'm, I'm not, uh, oh, these, and these guys are screwed. Let's put a out of supply marker on these guys right now so they don't forget. They can't even live off the map. They are completely surrounded, so they're gone. Now, I'm going to check the rules to see what the victory conditions are in terms of how many points do I get for exited units, and is it by formation or is it strictly by uh, number of units? VCs uh, just here somewhere, I think, for the campaign. Just bear with me, and I'll come back. I see there's five or six comments. I'm hoping you're all talking amongst yourselves. If not, uh, I'll get to you in just a second. I'm sure there's... Here we go. German withdrawal. Give the Axis player VPs based on the raw number of attack-capable German army and Luftwaffe ground units that exit... Which exit the map? Yeah, good, to the toe. 
Okay, 12 or less, I, we get to subtract, oh shit, 12 or less, that's minus 7 VPs. 40 or more. And we can only start withdrawing on the 10th of August, and it is the, <laughs> it's the 26th of July. I would have to last one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine more turns. Yeah, nine more turns. You know what? We might be looking at the last turn right here, I think. Yes, uh, oh, I see. Uh, you're, you guys are talking amongst yourselves here. That is correct, Riktik. They do not. DG is disorganized. One T is recorded here. Yeah. I'm sorry if I'm not explaining these things. Yeah, if you had watched some of the other videos, and, and uh, uh, who was asking that question? Okay, John, welcome to the the live broadcast. Um, as a as a kind of like an advisory to you, I'm kind of just doing a live play here. So while I while I am explaining some elements of the game, just because I can't help myself, right? Uh, I'm not really going through explaining the uh, intricacies of the game. This is not, these are not tutorials, it's more just a, me playing the game, right? So in terms of supply, since this is kind of critical to the game and one of the things we're looking at right now, see the little uh, 3T and you see the, the supply dumpy looking thing with a 2 on it? Um, well, the item on the right is uh, two supply points and the item on the left are fractions of a supply point. And four tokens, a T is a token, uh, four tokens equal one supply point. And all we're doing here is uh, there's a, a range of rules that allow you to uh, uh, fuel your mechanized units, the units with black movement points, like that dude there, or armored unit points, uh, armored, armored, armored guys like these dudes here with the yellow movement points. They all need fuel even to move. And so you've got to fuel them up and then they can move. And then if you want to fight anybody who fights, attacker or defender, they also have to uh, pay for movement. And, uh, sorry, have to pay for combat. And they cost tokens. And the things cost different amounts and it all becomes second nature. So part of the part of this is an operational scale game and part of the deal here with this system is it's a, it's it has a logistics backbone to it. And the idea is that we are trying to experience uh, maneuver-oriented uh, battle situations, and this does have some fair element of maneuver. I like games that are a little more fluid than this one, typically. But since I'm playing all of the war games I own in uh, chronological uh, progression and trying to get through different aspects and major battles and campaigns in World War II, Sicily is next on the table, and so in 43, we're up to 1943 in that, and we're playing this title. Uh, so uh, there's another version of this game called Sicily 2, which is a one-mapper, which I'm going to play next, and you'll see the difference there. There's a lot less token uh, shuttling around and stuff like that, so hopefully that uh, explains a little bit. But generally speaking, I'll run people through combats as I do them, just because it's I think it's interesting. And I'll try and provide a little color commentary, but basically I'm just playing the game. And if you don't know the game, by all means ask questions and I will try and answer them. But it seems like the guys here are doing a great job chipping in anyway. And I really appreciate that because I obviously have not looked at the comments for the last five minutes since I've been moving stuff. Uh, yeah, there you go. looks like uh, folks are chipping in. Good job. Thank you, gentlemen. Um, right. So where were we? We had moved some pieces. We had realized we were kind of screwed. We were looking at the uh, victory points. I need to get seven VPs. I got to get 40 uh, eligible combat units off the board. Okie dokie. I don't have 40 combat units that I can get off the board. Um, what, uh, let's look at the evaluation criteria. A draw would be seven to nine VPs. Here, you might as well see it. Why don't you have a look at it with me? Um, so let me read it. So you can see right here, here's the, here's the victory conditions, right? I'll hold the camera so it doesn't tip over again. Um, what else do we get VPs for? The Germans do get VPs for sinking uh, ships or damaging ships. They're fairly nominal. Uh, the Americans get points for something. 
Let's flip it over here. It'll be right here. Naval, see so you go. Naval losses. Let me just uh, flip this over for you. Sudden death victory. At the end of the Axis turn, there are no Allied attack. Yeah, that's not going to happen. Allied sudden death. Uh, instantly, the moment they hold uh, the last two city hexes of Messina, I'll show you where that is. Palermo, Augusta, Syracuse, and Catania. Catania. Uh, on or before the 10th of August. So, I mean, we could get a sudden death victory here, which might be kind of cool to try and play for. But, uh, well, let's just let's dig into it, okay? Um, to do In order to do that, the... the, the let me try that stating, stating that again. The, the catch is going to be Messina. Here's Messina. That's it right there. So we're not that far away, right? We're, we're close, but it's on a very, very narrow divide. And, uh, and I think, I think that, I think the allies could probably do this. I think the British have done an extraordinarily uh, good job here, knocking the stuffing out of a couple of core units. The Germans probably, uh, went overweight on defending here and should have uh, put more uh, emphasis on defending here and you know ideally excuse me these guys here probably could have fallen back and and, and covered the little mountain trails there's two mountain roads here but remember uh, just a few turns ago the Germans were reacting to the entire second armored division that had moved pretty much up in into and along this road here where is it here and uh, so they were kind of freaking out and they reacted and they moved over to here to try and cover all that whole situation and uh, there was panic and mayhem uh, because it looked like the the, the, the uh, second armored might try and dump out of here and and head this way well uh, careful examination of the map board by the German player uh, help them realize that the Americans were at the full extent of their combat effective range that you know the range they could move supply uh, for a variety of reasons and we don't need to get into that right now so the Americans had to reorient their attack move their primary core headquarters over to this road here so that they could throw supply forward more towards Palermo right such that even what by doing that, they were still going to be just really tight on being able to reach Palermo. So I've uh, I've grabbed the 78th Infantry British Infantry Division, and uh, Monty's kind of taken over the, the the battle, and Patton's sitting there sucking his thumb. The 78th is landing uh, next turn or the turn after thereabouts. I think the the ships are, the ships are here, so it's going to be another turn before they get around. But uh, they're going to land here. They're going to roll for a landing. Landing's going to be kind of dicey, but that's going to knock off Palermo. Let's call that two turns from now. So that would put us at the 31st of July. And uh, that will immediately put all of uh, the the first Falschermiego out of supply. Um, because, you know, the second arm, it'll come down here and block getting supply from Messina. So those guys will wither on the vine. They'll be hard to knock out because they are indeed, uh, you know, they're all five rated. So they have to roll pretty high on the attrition table, the supply attrition table to be killed. But they basically become combat ineffective because they're going to lose half their combat strength. So there's that. They have that going for them. So we cannot count on getting any of those units off the board. Now, we could get uh, one, two, three, four here. This guy is not a combat unit. Four, four, five. If I took all these off and took them up there right now, five. Wow, there's five units. I mean, we're done. I mean, I've got nothing left here. I've got three or four here. Yeah. You know, there's an argument for playing, right? Playing it out, and there's a being a dead horse. And I'm I'm leaning more towards uh, where we're about to beat the dead horse. So I'm open to suggestions, guys. What do you think? Uh, I feel like I've I've kind of run my uh, run the gamut with with the Germans. I don't know there's much else they can do. They have to exit units to mitigate the mitigate the loss. They're at risk of a allied sudden death victory 
they might be uh, better off uh, taking the noble route and declaring the enemy, the uh, declaring the allies the victor before they have a, a sudden death victory imposed upon them. Um, Yeah, starting on the 10th of August, the, the, the access play gets one VP per game turn. Okay. Uh, game turn. Okay, so we get a point per game turn as well, and a point per capital ship damaged. And two if it's sunk. Yeah, I still don't see how I'm going to last another eight turns with this many units. This is just brutal. Oh, over here? No, no, Kyle, there's nothing. They can't. Uh, that And all those retainers, it's only German units can exit. These Fallschirmjäger, they would need to get all the way up here. Now, I guess... You know, now, <laughs> now, if I wanted to be a smart dick, here's what I could do. I could f get to an airfield, of which the only one is in Palermo. So if I could move all those guys, all these guys, into Palermo, fly them to Messina, unload them, and then move them across on the ferry. I could do that. That would be uh, enormously gamey, and I, I'm just not going to do that. Uh, I, I, yeah, this is this is brutal. I think it might be interesting to set up Sicily too, and then uh, come right back uh, tomorrow, or uh, not tomorrow, but uh, next week sometime, and and see see the comparison between the two. It's going to take me a couple of hours to pack this up if I do pack it up now. All right, um, that's what I'm thinking, and I, I don't know, I just don't know that we can get one, two, three, four, yeah, we've got to last 10 turns before we start making a VP per turn, and then we get VPs for exiting, so it's that fine balance, and clearly the reason why some folks have chosen that strategy that uh, I discussed with you earlier on, where you uh, you pull back you pull back from the beaches very, very early, and then you uh, you you bottle up in here and and stack up a, a series of defensive lines and and make the British bash their heads and make the Americans go take Palermo uh, like they should have this this uh, game cycle that we're playing, and then just uh, stack the roads with uh, ash and trash, you know. Uh, crappy Italian units and crappy artillery units. I just, I don't like playing OCS like that. It's just lame. So, um, yeah, I think we're done. That's what I think. I think we're done. I think we've had uh, a good dozen hours of gameplay, 20 hours of gameplay out of this. Uh, a lot of fun chat with you guys. Some exciting attacks. Uh, once I once I wrap this up, I'm uh, this video up, I'll... Uh, I'll finish off all the the administrative bits and pieces that have to uh, happen, and then I might run the run the turn, run one more turn, um, and maybe at least run the invasion over on uh, Palermo um, and see what happens over there, and kind of uh, kind of make it a, make a final assessment. But I think uh, based on what I'm seeing here, you know, I've got uh, uh, headquarters. An angry battalion of Italian men who want some uh, ravioli, homemade ravioli. A coastal battery sitting here. You know, this turn, these guys are going to some of these uh, units here somewhere. The armor are going to roll around here, punch through that hex right there, and get behind these guys, isolate them, and they're done. Uh, I would get some units here isolate these guys, they'll all have to roll for attrition, they'll be eliminated, and they're done. And that then leaves us with these three or four guys. So I don't know, I couldn't get anyone else down to here uh, to support that hex. I don't think I had enough movement points. Yeah, yeah, we're screwed. I think we're done. All right, fellas, I really appreciate you tuning in. Yeah, exactly. That's what I'm. That's what I'm thinking, Rick Tig. I think. Uh, I think this is. Uh, 
Yeah, Bruce, that's right. They did too. The uh, campaign, uh, campaign for North Africa. All right, we'll talk to you guys soon, and uh, we'll uh, we'll get this thing uh, wrapped up and kind of look at what's next. And I look forward to hearing from you.